Good morning and thank you for joining us on this beautiful Canada Day. I hope you all are doing okay wherever you are. Uh, this is Amir Ismail, uh, live from Toronto, Canada. On behalf of Amir Ismail and Associates Canadian team, I wish you all a happy Canada Day or should I say a happy Canada Day. Eh? Happy birthday, Canada, the land we call our home. It is uh, truly fascinating to be part of the Canadian family, a country that is loved, appreciated, and respected all over the world. On this 153rd Canada Day, I would like to say a few words about what being a Canadian citizen means. But before that, let's watch a short video by our Canadian team that sums it all up. Yes, uh, Canadians are all about that. As a Canadian citizen, you get access to a Canadian passport, right? And the passport right here. Um, this passport um, is something that is um, uh, has given me the privilege of traveling all over the world. Um, and it is one of the most powerful and respected passport uh, allowing visa-free travel to several countries. Um, as I said, it has given me the opportunity to travel all over the world, and I feel honored to have assisted clients from all over the world for the last 29 years. And I'm glad out of more than 25,000 people we have assisted so far, we're able to call Canada their home and get a Canadian passport for themselves and their family. Um, but freedom of mobility and access to a Canadian passport is by far not the only advantage of becoming a Canadian citizen. In my point of view, being a Canadian citizen means being able to pursue anything you can imagine and being who you want to be. Being a Canadian citizen means that I live in one of the best countries in the world, which has peace, order, and good government that embraces the values of the Charter of Human Rights and Freedoms. Uh, Canadian citizens enjoy freedoms and privilege paramount to best in the world. We have in uh, uh, everything that we could uh, think about, like uh, universal health care, pension plan funds, freedom uh, to speech, free education for children, and highly subsidized education for college and university students. Um, yes, being Canadian means opportunity, quality of life, and assurance in contributing to the public uh, trust. Uh, we are Canadians, free to speak without fear, free to worship in our own way, free to stand for what we think right, free to oppose what we believe wrong, or free to choose those who shall govern our, our country. Uh, this heritage of freedom will all Canadians pledge to hold for ourselves and all mankind. And we stand proud as Canadians. Uh, so all of you who are considering Canada as their future home, I can assure you that your decision is correct. You have chosen the right country to pursue your career, raise a family and contribute to the well-being of a country that is uh, in reciprocation offers respect and opportunity for you to prosper. Uh, now, we would encourage you to send in your questions and we'll try to attend to them. But before that, we have a few updates uh, that I would like to share with you. The most important one being um, that, and that came yesterday was uh, that Canada has extended the border closure until end of July for foreign travelers to curb the spread of the disease. Um, there are exceptions, though, in place, and if you come under those exceptions, you may be allowed to travel to Canada. So that is number one. And uh, the number uh, two observation is that despite the ongoing situation, uh, the 
express entry draws from express entry uh, pool are continuing to take place. But these are all targeted toward uh, the provincial nomination applicants or Canada experience class applicants. Uh, there have been no express entry selections for federal skilled worker programs since March this year, uh, but we are hoping that this is uh, going to happen uh, effective uh, September. So fingers crossed for that. So if you're interested in migrating to Canada, please understand that the processing will be delayed and there might be lesser draws for the federal skilled worker program uh, until the border restrictions are lifted. Right. Um, Canada has curbed the impact, but we are still not out of words. We understand that. And um, the Canadian government is doing its best to control uh, the spread. Uh, it will take some time, but when the time comes, Canada will be back roaring. Right. Um, but before I forget, we have an exciting discount offer in celebration of uh, Canada Day that is uh, valid for the entire month of July. So if you're interested in awaiting the offer and if you have been assessed uh, uh, as qualifying for immigration to Canada, um, you can avail this offer uh, and you can send us an email at info at amirasmile.com and we shall share with you the great offer details about it uh, we have for you. Okay. So that is good. Um, it's great to be with you all on this uh, Canada Day. Uh, and if you would like to get in touch with us, I'll show you the slide with our contact details, uh, which can be found on our website, www.amirismile.com as well. Um, <clears throat> these phone numbers uh, can be used to contact us. Uh, the email address is shown and our website. You already know about that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's have uh, the questions uh, coming in. If you have any questions, uh, we'll be pleased to answer them. And uh, let's have the slides of the question period on the screen. Okay, so there we have it. <clears throat> so let's see, what do we have? We have Ramzan Ali, he says he's watching. Thank you very much for joining us today, Ramzan. Shamin Arshad is asking us how much study gap is acceptable for master's program. Um, well, uh, when you get in touch with uh, the university uh, where you are intending to get admission to, uh, they would advise you uh, about the admission procedure. If you have secured the admission, um, you can apply for the visa. Uh, gap or no gap, the visa officer's uh, job is to determine the genuineness of the applicant. Uh, if you are um, a genuine st student, uh, you have intentions of studying in Canada and returning to your home country after completion of your studies, uh, you can uh, be considered for issuance of the visa. So there is, as such, no um, gap or no gap or concept. OK, so we have Fazia Kamal. Yes, we are fine. Thank you very much for asking. Um, we have Tapan Das, uh, which plan was good. Uh, which plan was good? Um, I don't understand the question, but you can perhaps elaborate it. Um, there are so many plans. Uh, if you're asking about any specific visa category, we'll be happy to answer that. Okay, so he, there he is. Atlantic work uh, program give work permits. Okay, so um, I would like to advise that um, we do not uh, deal in any work permit uh, options uh, and we do not arrange jobs. So I don't think that we'll be able to help you out. Kulsum Amir Kaz, uh, Kazmi is with us. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. So this is this is good. Uh, so yeah, th on this uh, Canada Day, it's a national holiday here in Canada and uh, everyone is enjoying outside, but I thought I should get in touch with you all and uh, i hope that the 154th canada day next year i wish all of you 
uh, celebrate it in Canada. And this is uh, this is good. A uh, few more things that I would like to say is that um, um, uh, when you come to Canada, you you find them very friendly. And uh, to be friend friendly, Canadians definitely meet the stereotype. I would say, I've never met a more polite country in my life. Um, it's very multicultural. There are so many different communities that make up Canada. Every uh, Canadian comes from a different cultural background. And this phenomena definitely helps uh, when you are a new immigrant. And equality, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. When I think of uh, the world, those are things that come to mind when I think of Canada. And um, uh, we can take a few more questions right here. Okay, Fazia Kamal is saying about immigration, tell me. <clears throat> so for immigration, excuse me, um, we have various categories, right? Uh, and the main two main categories are the federal skill worker program and the entrepreneur programs. So basically, if you're a professional, you can come to Canada um, under the federal program or the provincial programs, um, or you could come to Canada as a student and apply for immigration later on because there is a program called Canada Experience Class for Students. But uh, if you are uh, operating a business, you could come to Canada as an entrepreneur. Uh, regardless of your choice, you can get in touch with our team and we can make a, um, a free assessment of your eligibility. You just need to send us an email and our team will be able to assist you with that. Okay, so with that, um, I would uh, say uh, take good care of yourself uh, and people around you and I will speak to you soon again and I'll leave you with uh, one of our more um, sought after videos. Mm -hmm.